<laughs> camera's moving. Uh, vlog time. Yes, it is. And um, here we go. I actually recorded a vlog last night. Um, which I started uploading last night before I went to my bed and it failed. So I started uploading it again once I got up in the morning and it failed again. And on further reflection I thought, hmm, maybe this one was not meant to be uh, because I was, I, I was, I was out of it. <laughs> I was, and I, yes, it was one of these vlogs that shall never be shown, ever. Um, hmm. Right, where to start? There is so much gear here to show you and I'm going on holiday next week. I'm going to Venice of all places, Venice for a week. I may have told you some of this. Um, to be perfectly honest, my head has been up my backside for the past week and I haven't got a clue what I've said or what I have done. So clean slate, here we go. Uh, Wednesday night, tonight, it, the only thing that I might get a review out before I head off is the, the, the thing, the Therian, is this the Therian BF? Um, I might get a review for this out because I'm quite comfortable talking about that. Um, everything else is a no. Uh, so then it's going to be a week, no reviews, be a week and a half before, a week and a half before you see anything, basically. Um, now, before we get going, I just want to say thank you, a big, big thank you to um, Simon, um, who sent me this on. Uh, there's there's an e-liquid company called Strawberry Fields, which I have talked about in the past, uh, and I do like a little bit of Strawberry Fields. Uh, unless it's the yogurt one. I'm not a fan of the yogurt, but I said I wouldn't talk about that ever again. Um, now he sent me, oh, <laughs> when I was at Vape Fest, where did I put the letter? I had the letter. I've, lo I've, I've still got the letter here. I still got, there was a letter that came with it. No, that's not it. Ah, no, but I've lost the, I've lost the letter. What have I done with it? There was a letter that came with it that was really funny. What have I done with it? Oh no, this isn't... Ah, here we go. I got instructions with this. The atomizer that slipped through the net and never got reviewed is the title. This is... Whilst pissed at Vapefest, one tried this atomizer with raspberry fields and I think was unimpressed. So here you go, try it sober. So he sent me on some Raspberry Fields and uh, the Aromanizer Supreme um, and he gave me <laughs> full instructions on how to use it. Now, I hasten to add that I, I saw it and went, aha, 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 shunk, threw it in the bag and it ignored it. Uh, now, it, it came, <laughs> Simon put uh, coils in it for me and I promptly filled it up and uh, I went, <laughs> tried to prime it and all that, and um, and then realised that uh, the tank hadn't gone down at all. The level hadn't changed, and I thought, this level should change. <laughs> it turns out that uh, there's a juice flow control, um, which if I had read the instructions that were given with it, I would have known that. But, uh, you know, usual me, I just jumped straight into it. Um, it puts attached attach to mod and vape at 55 watts. Um, Simon, Strawberry Fields e-liquid. I got a Nev t-shirt as well. North East Vapors. N-E-V. Say it properly this week. Um, so, I'll be wearing that t-shirt when I go down to... There's a Nev meet... Um, by and I die 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 um, I watched the um, the Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, what's his face? McConaughey. Uh, Matthew McConaughey. Well, he does that bit in it. Ah, oh, just brilliant. Um, anyway, yeah, there's a a nor a never a never meet. Um, fifteenth of October, I think it is. I'm going to go down to that. Um, 
So, anyway, um, yes, this thing, a Ronizer Supreme. Now, uh, people kept saying to me, because I go on about the, the Godfather, the Modfather tank an awful lot and say how good it is, and people say, yes, it's basically just a, a bigger version of this. And, and that kind of just went right over my head because I hadn't seen that or used this. Uh, and the right, it is, it's just a bigger version. In fact, this has juice flow control, which the, the mod father doesn't. Um, this is a very, very good tank. And uh, I, I will say that the strawberry feels does taste a lot better when I'm not drunk. Uh, so that was that shout out. Uh, I also want to put a shout out for... Um, Jesus. I want to thank Jesus. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I want to thank Eddie. Eddie from Darwin Mods who came to the rescue and uh, I basically, um, my lipo here was uh, dead. It was dead. Dead Jim. Um, and uh, and it looks like they, they don't do that uh, particular lipo on uh, Hobby King anymore. So, uh, Eddie sent me on one, uh, which was very good of him, because he's he's just like that. He's a nice bloke. Uh, he also has an evil sense of humour. <laughs> now, because I use these, and I probably realise you can't hear me when I'm not talking to the camera, these, um, these are... <laughs> These are battery cases. Oh, fuck. These are three D printed battery cases that the Eddie sends on when I get a mod from him. Um, somebody on Darwin, I don't know. God, someone in Darwin Mods posted up that they'd actually taken one of these and converted it into a squonker. So what Eddie's done is actually sent me one of these three D printed ones, and. You can see at the top I've got a 510, uh, somewhere to uh, stick a button, and um, yeah. So, um, obviously, my track record for uh, building mods, uh, I've built two, I've built two mods, um, but the squonker never happened. Uh, so, this is as simple as it gets. Um, I will get rid right of this, I will. I will. Um, I will. I will. I will. Uh, oh, down here. Um, right. So that's that. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, don't touch any more of that. So that was the thank yous. Uh, the thank yous. Now, what else? I did buy. I bought this week. I bought this second hand. Uh, this was through Safer Vapors. Um, this is the Hurricane V2. 1.2. Uh, with a, and don't ask me where it comes from, uh, a top fill tank for it. I bought this from uh, Brim and um, just because I wanted to go back and try it again, I think I said in the last vlog that um, Mark had given me a loan of um, an Uber to it and I'm not enjoying it, not enjoying it at all. It's just the draw seems too tight. Uh, for me now. However, the Hurricane 1.2, the draw is just a little bit bigger than the Uber 2. And as a result of that, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. And that's a uh, 0 0.8 ohm build, 19 watts, is where I used to like it. And, and the flavour and everything is excellent. Truly is excellent. I'm thoroughly enjoying this again, and I'm I'm glad I, I bought it. Um, the, he, there's this pile of spare tanks came with it, so Brim, thank you very much. And um, the O-rings that were on it when it came uh, were a bit past it, but it turns out that the O-ring pack that you get with the Crown V1. Um, which I pinched from work. Um, the, 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 a couple of these actually work in this, the Hurricane V1 too. Uh, so, uh, excellent. What else did I buy? 
also this week uh, I bought right ages ago ages ago um, uh, Jim Shorrock uh, who makes who I, I remember I, I bought this uh, Jim made this for me uh, golden box mods um, love this love this now um, he built a mod for somebody um, a long time ago uh, it was one of, I think it was one of his first mods and I saw it and went oh my god that's gorgeous um, and then it got sold, sold, sold and it's changed hand a few times a few times and I miss it every time it comes up for sale and it, I just go kills me no longer it's now here with me it's uh, a Yeehi SX350 Jai uh, V1 um, but I, I, the colours and the wood on this just this is this is and the fire button there is so comfortable it's really it's so comfortable I've wanted this mod for so long and, and I'm not going to lie it's um, inside it's 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 not the tidiest sorry Jim I'm just being all, I'm being honest mate it's not the tidiest there is a bit of glue in there um, hot glue and yeah uh, still blah oh god I love it I'm very very happy I'm very very happy I finally got this uh, so that was a purchase of mine um, and I've actually got the Hurricane Junior on that hmm um, so that was my purchases um, oh Chris that uh, I bought the, that mod from he, he sent me on uh, humblejuiceco.com uh, humble hopscotch this this was in the box the the package when it arrived it's it's not bad very butterscotchy um, so that arrived as well thanks Chris thank you very much I shall have a blast at that later uh, now other mods that arrived this is um, do, I, do I have to start with this now right here we go here's all the gear that's arrived for review as modest. Remember this this one? This is the stabilized wood. Um this is the one that everybody got their knickers and a twist about because uh well basically they screwed up uh the air thing and whatnot on the bottom here. Um but they sorted it straight away. Um which is just as well because it was a major cock up. Uh, it doesn't but I could have sent this back and got this Basically, it's supposed to look like that now. So if you've got one like that, um, then I would send it back to Asmodis. Uh, you don't pay anything. Um, they fix it for you and send it back. Uh, I chose not to send it back because it doesn't bother me. It just It's just not an issue for me. Um, that was the stabilised one. They've now got a hybrid one. So we've now got a, a resin and stabilised wood and it's still got the same board in it <coughs> um, and we've got this new updated method of uh, you know battery contacts so that you don't uh, touch them in the sparky sparky anymore it doesn't do that anymore uh, and yeah it's, it's uh, like I said, I'm not a huge resin fan. I, I never have been until I got the Bratis. I really like the Bratis, but um, yeah, do you know it's actually it's not bad. This and that's uh, a little Simon's drip tip on there that just seems to just as usual. It's just a perfect match. Um, so that arrived. <laughs> um, also arrived today, uh, and I can't remember how to pronounce it. Uh, oh, it's written on it. Metal Madness Vapors. Miriam, with the hat, um, got in touch. Uh, the Minimus. Is it the Minimus? Minimus? Um, 
Metal Madness guys have been, oh God, they've been going for so long now uh, and, and really nice people uh, well th this is one of their mods um, now they're, they're doing you can get these in very different configurations the, this is the SX350 uh, JV2 uh, you can get a DNA 75 uh, this you, you can get one with the, a tube here and there's, there's lots and lots of variations available um, but this is like uh, doink like that. and that's me got uh, a snappy snapdragon by Eden Mods on there and do I have any juice in this? excuse me while I go to, can you see that there? Right. Scoosh, and that's me. Um, I still, I still love these things. These things are bloody great. Um, the easy dripper things. Blink. That's my sorry. That's my goose juice one. Um, that just. I know you're supposed to use it in the car, but uh, I, I've got this here. Um, I did, by the time I had a vape. Um, what we were talking about yeah so a, a review will be coming for this at some point oh -ho! you want in the show <laughs> how you doing how are you doing um, oh I watched them and uh, I've not watched them for ages um, I mean don't get me wrong um, it's <laughs> Uh, twisted, Twisted 420. Um, he's a nice bloke, a hell of a nice bloke. Um, but I, I, he's not a reviewer. I, I tend to watch. Um, I don't watch many reviewers, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but I was watching, uh, watching his rant. He was going on about the YouTube thing and monetization, and you can't swear and all that kind of thing. And um, Yeah, um, <laughs> he's got his cat, the, the climbing tree for his cat and all that. <laughs> it was brilliant. Uh, I'm thinking of getting one for TJ. Um, right. Oh, and I went to, I was working up in Perth today. If you're on my Facebook page, you would have seen it. They've got the ideal, what was, the ideal shed show, hut show. No, what was it called? Um... I put a, put a picture up here, I put a picture up here. The Ideal Hut Show. It's a whole street in Perth, in Scotland, uh, and they've just got little sheds, huts, all down the street. I was like, oh! Um, sorry, I get excited about sheds. Um, right, we were talking about something. Asmodus. Uh, we've got to Asmodus, haven't we? No, we've got to Metal Madness Vapors, MMV. Um, but we're going to go back to his modest now because no, we're not. Uh, these arrived as well. Uh, doink, 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 doink. Uh, Twenty-five millimeter sub tank. Uh, sub. Uh, I reviewed the twenty-two mil one. This is just going to be a bigger version. But uh, I'm, I'm interested in this. This is the Freak Show V2. Now I was a big fan of the Freak Show, the original Freak Show. Really liked it really liked it uh, so I've still to open them <laughs> there we go um, now this and this and this right let's let's get cooking my gas here now the first thing they sent me was the clone clone I think it's clone and uh, clone right this is um hmm This is the Vape Droid. This is one of my favourite mods of the year so far, the Vape Droid, uh, which is, uh, as usual, is uh, it's a bit of a beater mod for me now, um, but so that's what's covered in fingerprints. So that's the Vape Droid. This is the Clome by Asmodus, which is, yeah, 
this comes in different finishes, okay? This is the rubberized finish. It's it's very, very similar in looks. Uh, but it's it's not a clone. As in it's a different board, it's a different size, um yeah, it's different. But uh, but you can run it in single twenty six six fifty or eighteen six fifty. But look at this, they come with this uh, really smart little it's like a glass tube. Uh, put your 18650 in there and it just kind of like sits in there like that. It's quite funky. Uh, but it's got pushy up and down buttons and like I said, I think it's 80 watts. Now, I didn't know this was coming. Uh, all I agreed to review was the, the hybrid mod. If I can, if I get enough time, um, if I'm not other reviews that I've agreed to do, um, then I will try and show you this properly, do a proper review on it. Um, what I really would like to show you, I didn't know this was coming either, was this, that's not coming out of the box. The Relo 2.3, now you can run it in 3 battery configuration or 2018-650 configuration. This is the Minikin version 2, which is very similar in the Relo 2.3 configuration and the 2 configuration, 2 battery configuration. I'm going to give, Jesus. Uh, so, two batteries in there. Now, the really, really cool thing about this is, is that I don't have any batteries anywhere uh, to put in this and power it up. Now, how does this work again? Does that click like that? And oh, the batteries just fall out. Here we go. <laughs> so they're paired. Right, let's put batteries in this because I've got to show you this. This is actually very, very cool. Uh, I did have a, a bit of a, a giggle fest when I first opened this um, because it was like Christmas. As in, I thought, right. Basically, I just I held up the screen a little bit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, uh, mm, yeah, two batteries in there. Switch it on. Yeah, I've got a little screen coming on there. Uh, and then it was like, um, okay, let's uh, put the wattage up. Um, how do you put the wattage up? I have no idea how you put the wattage up. Uh, uh, tap that. And then it's got a plus and minus. It's a touch screen. Look at that. And it works. It works really well, and incredibly well, the touch screen. Um, I am slight. Hang on, I'm trying to slide to unlock and slide to lock. Uh, that's that. It's just, it's just I'm having fun with it now. Tap the power, oh it's locked so I can't do anything with it. This 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 is once again I didn't know it was coming um but I really am gonna have a play with this because it's 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 got a touch screen. And normally touch screens and mods are pretty shit. Um but uh, this I don't know. It seems pretty funky and quite well thought out. At first glance it does. Um so we'll, we'll, I'll try and get a review out for that. Listen, by the time I get round to doing a review for the, a review for this, everybody and their dog will have had a review out for it. And as usual, I'll be late to the game. But hey ho, there we go. Right, more as modest stuff. Now, um, get back. They also sent me on. They're fly buggers. Uh, they sent me on the Triad RDA which looks a bit like that. And they also sent me on um, the Triad Genesis. Now, quite frankly, I don't think that anything should be called Genesis in relation to vaping, unless you're putting stainless steel mesh in there. Um, if you're putting cotton in it, it's not a Genesis. Um, right, I, the, the only thing is that um, 
<laughs> no. I was going to open, have a play with these, but um, that's the the RDA. What the hell? What the hell? I have no idea. I, I, I'm confused. I'm confused and upset that I, I really don't. Can you just run it in triple? I don't want to build it in triple. Why? I just like my jewel coils. I get upset. Anything else? Um, anyway, so there'll be. I don't know if there'll be a review, but there'll certainly be uh, on video. Uh, me getting upset, not being able to build it. Because, uh, yes. Uh, and the Genesis is much the same, except it's got a tank underneath. Um, so that's that's as modest stuff. Um, I'm still using the catfish uh, LBC, and yes, it's a big beastie, and um, I'm really, really growing to like this, um, and I've over squonked. Um, I, I, I didn't think, I, when it arrived, did I say this last week, when it arrived and I started using it, I was like, oh this is far too big, this is far too big, uh, but it's just kind of grown on me, and I'm, the ba I'm really surprised by the battery life, really surprised, um, and it was my, I posted this on my Facebook page, happy birthday to my Kryptonite 454 version 1. Um, it's now, oh it's over two years since I got this, two years I've had this for, well it's actually two years, two, three months, something like that, the 454, uh, I, now I've got a squonk pin on this, um, it was Neil, Neil, it was you that Neil, Neil sent the squonk pin on, I don't know where he got it, I think he got it from the manufacturer. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I really, really like this dripper. It's just, it's it's done me well for so long. Um, and it's actually a great pairing with this. Um, and as I was saying, I thought I was going to be a bit uh, when it came to this thing because it's a bit sunboxish and it's it's quite big uh, but it's, it's grown on me it really has grown on me thoroughly enjoying it um what else is that it could that be it surely not um, I have no idea how long I've been talking for. Not long, I hope. Um, right. Oh, itchy ankle. <laughs> itchy ankle. Um, that, that, I think that is it. I really do. Uh, what videos have I been watching and things like that? Not much of anything. I've just been so blah out of it that... Um, I'll tell you what, I'm really excited today. This is the, just how sad I am. That's his tail hitting the bin. Um, I finally... Uh, it's a graphic novel that I used to read. Uh, and, and, I, and I read it years ago and I read nearly all of them and, and I loved it uh, manga, it was called Gantz um, and I really enjoyed it and then there was some a live action one as well and I watched them uh, and I've since found out that there's actually going to be a film in October this year based on it as well, Gantz um, <laughs> why am I talking about this? Yes, because I just remembered it. It's been about two years I've been trying to remember what this thing was called. <laughs> totally went out of my head. And then for some reason today it just landed back in there again. I think it was Callum that reminded me. Anyway, um, 
No, what was I doing here? I was going to YouTube, that's where I was going, and I was going to bore you to death and tell you about what reviews I've been watching. Um, no. Subscriptions, there we go. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, there's Dean's got one up, Trip Tank Pro from V God. It's okay. Um, Mr. Bissardo, where's Mr. Bissardo? Where have you been? Uh, he's got one up, I've not seen that. Um, I've not watched any of that, any of that, any of that. Um, I've, yeah. I've not really watched much of anything. Um, sorry. <laughs> Just because um, I'm an idiot. Um, oh, what else did I get? As Asmoda sent this one as well, and I have to be honest, was that um, when I opened, I opened the mail up in the original video that I recorded, and um, <laughs> I did this bit, I thought, why don't I do a juice review? This is a brand new bottle of juice, I have no idea what it is. I'll do a juice review. So <laughs> cracked it open and I was like, yeah, it's it's raspberry and it's um it's milky and it's this and it's that and blah 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 blah. Uh, and then I went and read the description on the website and it was none of the things I thought it was. And none of the things. My palate is shockingly bad. But it's actually it's very good. It smells really artificial. Uh, really like a an overpowering air freshener. Um in a car, it's just, but the taste is, it's actually quite good. I do like that. Whatever it is, I can't remember. Crush, crush fruits, wonderful. Handcrafted in Los Angeles. Um, right, that's enough of that. I'm gonna go, um, is it, oh, emails, have I missed anything? Um, with tofu, done that, done that, done that. Oh, didn't do. Oh, no, I'm not going to cover that. Did I talk about the? I did. I talked about the, Anakin stuff in the last vlog, didn't I? I'll get round to it. I did. I'm sure I did. These wee guys. Um. I'm still enjoying them actually. I'm enjoying them so much that I can't remember how to switch them on. Oh. Is the battery dead in this? CD bulbs, yeah, I can't see it. Right, that's it off. One, two, three, four, five. Or is it three clicks? No, the battery's dead in it. Bugger. Bugger arse tits. That's not. That's actually quite tasty, that. Quite. Mmm. Yes. Um, I've nothing, that's it, that's nothing else. If I can, I will get a review out for this before I bugger off. Uh, I can't promise that I will. If you don't see a review from me again, then that's I'll see you in a while. Because I'm going to go and I'm going to just, I promise. I promised Karen I would not sing the Just One Carnetto song whilst in a gondola. I really want to. I really, really want to. But um, I think she'll beat the shit out of me if I do. Um, thank you for listening, as always. I am, and thank you for... No, well, thank you for just watching. I was going to say something really inspirational there and whatnot, but um, I'm not really that kind of guy. I am... Um, I better go talking shit now. Where's the off button? I will see you. And oh, I want to show you something else. Oh, this arrived. Oh, I bought no. Uh, I bought, bought this wee thing. This was about um, I think it was eight quid or something like that off of Amazon. <coughs> uh, a little tripod. Uh, and you think oh, well, a little tripod? Uh, but I wanted it for uh, when I was out and about with the phone. <coughs> because um, get one of these wee things 
and that just screws on there or screws on like that and then you can pop your phone in it um, it's an Oakley or whatever that is and you just clip that and then that moves about like that and fix it in position and away you go great wee thing great I was going to get one of them it's not called a jobby I know it's not called a jobby I've got it don't call it a jobby uh, the, the gorilla ones uh, but um, they're really good they're really I had uh, one of the big ones which I used to use for my camera when I did reviews with my old camera um, but this was just for shits and giggles and I didn't want to spend too much money on it uh, you know because uh, yes um, I'm going I'm going this time right uh, I'll see you in a while take care guys bye now Thank <laughs> you.